It's an art form that has played a pivotal role in telling the stories of families, communities, and society as a whole. In this segment of Frame, we will learn about the craft of quilting. Joining us is the Director of Education for the Carl and Mary Kaler History Museum, Caitlin Treese. Caitlin, thank you so much. Hello. Welcome to Frame. Thanks for having me. I think it's important that we start with what quilting is. Okay, this is an excellent example of what quilting is. Surprising, quilting is actually the final step in making a quilt. Oh. So the final step is these lovely, beautiful fan and leaf designs that you see on this quilt here. This quilt is from 1928, um, and this is all hand-stitched. That's incredible. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. It just see how small the stitches are together. And what quilting actually does is it takes the three layers of fabric, which mm -hmm. we'll see later, okay. um, and binds them together. So it sews the three layers together. And that's what actually is quilting. And okay. that is the final step in making a quilt. Okay. And then what about these elements of this particular quilt? This pattern here is a very old pattern that's been around for a very long time, and it's called a bear paw. And you can actually kind of see where oh, it gets yes. its name, the mm -hmm. kind of paw like, looking. Yes. And this part of a quilt is called a block. And that's actually what you do first, is you cut out your blocks and you piece together each block. And then you would put all your blocks together, and that makes a quilt top. And that is then quilted. For your finished top. It's exquisite and I I'm know. listening to you say the final step and it's just it's hard to grasp a little bit. I know it for is. For me. <laughs> it's such a beautiful work and to imagine that women spent such detail and time in perfecting mm -hmm. every stitch and then designing the stitches. Oh, and that this was all done by hand in their imagination. You know I can't I can't even think about that. The, the art that goes into something that in many cases was just on a bed. Right, that you take for granted, it's just a, it's a comfort and yes. warmth and, and human protection, but it was so much more than that. It was, and it is today as well. Yes, I've, I've looked at some contemporary quilts, but you have some here mm -hmm. and you'll show us, and the art form just continues to amaze me. This is actually one of my quilts. Uh, it was the first quilt that I ever made. My mom and I worked on it together, um, and it basically came out of, I started collecting t-shirts mm -hmm. um, every time I went somewhere. By the time I was getting ready to go to college, I had all these t-shirts. <laughs> put them up to go to college, and uh, my grandma suggested, well, why don't you make them into a quilt? And we thought, well, we've never quilted before. My sophomore year, my mom and I took a quilting class during the summer, mm. and we thought we'd jump into it. So mm -hmm. this has about 10 years of t-shirt quilt collecting. This quilt was on my bed for my senior year of college. Wow. And uh, now we're showing it here. So it's a very popular trend right now. What is the most meaningful element of this particular quilt? You know, I think the most meaningful element is just that my mom and I did it together. This quilt, as you can see, is the three layers oh. show up very clearly. So we have the top of our quilt, we have the batting, which okay, is in the middle, yes. which is what makes it warm. And then we have the back of the quilt. And this quilt is not yet a quilt. Okay. It hasn't been quilted yet. So these stitches here are just basting stitches. Another modern invention, these are water soluble. So really? once I quilt and wash it, these stitches will disappear. Get out. I know. That's cool. pretty amazing. <laughs> it is. So this is a, a very modern um, quilt, but you can see that the patterns between the two are very similar. So the first step is we make our blocks, and these are our blocks. Okay, so this is a section from, I won't touch it, yep. but this area to this area, yep. and you have a design within that space. Exactly. Okay, and you make the blocks as large or small as you want? Exactly. You can make, I mean, there are thousands of different patterns for blocks. All right. Then you take a bunch of blocks, in this case I think of 16, and you sew those together. Then when you connect the blocks together, you make a top. All right. Okay, so then we have our top. We layer the top with the batting. This is a more of a synthetic 
batting, mm -hmm. um, whereas with this one, an older oh. quilt has a wool batting. Oh, I see the difference, yes. Then the back of the quilt um, is just, in this case, I just used a plain fabric. In this one, it's another plain fabric. It's just a large backing piece. It's very rarely seen. And then you get to the quilting. Drum roll, yes. please. And that's sewing the three layers together. And okay. then you put a binding on it and you have yourself a quilt. And this is where when you sew the three layers together, you can come up with those really fanciful Fabulous. Yep. designs like we saw in the original quilt. Mm -hmm. I, I'm getting it now, what about you? <laughs> okay. Let's look at some of the key pieces that are part of the exhibition that is currently mm -hmm. happening here. We have a surprise celebrity special guest for you, so hang with us. <music> to describe the background of this quilt I'm standing in front of. Remember I told you about that special celebrity surprise guest? Well, she's here. Susie Jones, welcome to Free. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am well, thank you. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad to be here. This here. is a really great example of a community effort. Um, if you look at this, these individual blocks were done by different people and they're depicting scenes in Lynn County area. You have Wilson. I love the pig. Uh, this is when they were building the five-in-one dam. Uh, a brownstone. The old Mercy Hospital. Wow. Bruce Moore. Yes. Uh, Veterans Coliseum. Uh-huh. Rockwell Collins. Quaker Oats. Yes, this is a beautiful piece, again telling the story of a community through the art form of quilting. And of, oh, Grant Wood. Grant Wood, absolutely. American Gothic. American Gothic, can't you can't that. have Cedar Rapids without a Grant Wood. You can't. You have some patterns you're going to show us. And by the way, everybody, Susie is a celebrity because she is an avid quilter and she has some pieces that she's personally donated to this exhibition. So she's going to give us a little bit more insight. And let's start with this quilt because it has a special design. This one um, depicts a fan. Uh, each block is a different fabric and they're put together with a curved seam, which was a very interesting uh, in years past, uh, not easy to piece, all hand pieced. Um, I like all the different fabrics, the, the scraps, because this was, quilters were the first recyclers. That's because, true, this is an Because chic they art. used up every piece of fabric that they could find and did just some wonderful things with it. But this one is a, a fan pattern. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at all the vibrant, rich patterns and colors and the textures they create. Typical purple in this particular era. Put them really? together. Yes, yes. And that, that color gives you the era. Mm -hmm. You and can so tell when a quilt was made by the types of fabrics. Now, combinations of fabrics, uh, a very popular one right now is pinks and browns, mm. um, greens and purples. Mm -hmm. um, you can just tell a quilt by the colors in it. This next quilt is quite unique because it is won by a public figure. Not only that, but an African-American individual. And this piece is on loan from the African-American Museum of Iowa. Susie, what do you know about this quilt? Because it has a very special pattern. Uh, the pattern that's uh, in this quilt is called uh, double wedding ring. And the curved piecing and the little tiny pieces are all um, not easy to do. Uh, it was a wonderful one. It is all hand pieced and hand quilted. This particular pattern is quite the trick for uh, even modern day quilters to do. Hmm. And um, many people would make one of these as a gift for a new bride. Mm -hmm. um, it just is a very special quilt. Mr. Reed was the first black man elected to the Iowa House of Representatives. He was um, very fine man and an entrepreneur in Cedar Rapids area. And uh, in quite the time, early, late 
1800s and early 1900s. Remarkable. Mm -hmm. Thank you for explaining this one to us. You're welcome. Shall we play? We should play. Okay, we're gonna go play. Come play with us. One of the things that um, Caitlin has uh, come up with to do for the kids to learn how to quilt. This is a dyeing patch. She's run it with threads and the pieces of felt stick on our wall. Mm -hmm. um, and you can put up various color combinations. All right, I'm gonna get involved in this. You sure can. And, stick. and this is a basic nine patch quilt. Uh, we even have ones over here that have triangles. And you can put triangles together. Now Susie, I want to do this. You can do that. You can do that? Well here, let's do it this way. You okay. find another one to go with it. Oh, I can't put a triangle on a, a square? You can make a square with two triangles. I want to do it the hard way because I'm a little rebellious. Fine with me, whatever. <laughs> Just play along. We're playing, okay. right? <laughs> Here, you can even do it this way. Okay, let's see it. You can do this. Ooh, one okay. And this let me one find some more. And this one. Oh, there's a gray one. Okay, you want another one? Okay. Uh, but let's put the gray. Do... Let's put. Let's make a nice design. Okay. Let's put the gray one let's there. Let's make like it pretty. Yes. Do we want any white in that one? Oh, well, we, we can do that. You could just endless endless options here. Endless options is right. Oh, how fun! We can just play till who laid the rail. <laughs> now that's an oldie but goodie. Yes. Now see, is. I can see the the adults kind of not really fighting with the kids, but challenging them on playtime here. Absolutely. This is great. And here, you want to put it over the thing and we'll do, we'll put them over there. All right, yay. And so this just gets you going, puts you in the mindset and the creative mindset to plan your own cool. design. All right. Correct? All right. Caitlin, we're at the end of the yes. story. We have these balls, these quilted balls. Mm -hmm. These are really fun. I wish I could juggle, but uh, we we'll can't to... either. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll we'll just we'll just leave it at that. But we want to end with this beautiful quilt, mm -hmm. which appeared in a French magazine. I understand. Yes, it did. And this is. This was created by a local quilter. Correct? Yep, this is a local quilter. Her name is Deb Eggers, uh -huh. and she's from one of our local quilt shops as mm -hmm. well. And this went all the way to France. The quilt actually had to fly to France to be photographed for the magazine. And uh, it is called Faded Stars is uh -huh. the pattern. It was a new pattern she designed. And, oh. um, and as we talked about colors showing the eras downstairs, colors also define a quilter. I myself prefer the bright, really vibrant colors as yes. you saw on my t-shirt quilt. Uh, Susie is our patriotic quilter. She likes red, white, and blue. And you'll see a lot of quilters choose the same color palette. So oh. this is, you know, the beiges and the, the, the red. So that's, a, that's another way. But we have some great modern quilters, all from local quilt, um, the Quilt Guild mm -hmm. and quilt shops that mm -hmm. have also uh, been so kind to loan as quilts for the exhibit. Oh, fun. So the color palette becomes somewhat of a signature. It can, like definitely, definitely. Well, thank you so much for giving us the, the beginning and an advanced lesson in the art of quilting. And we hope that you all have a further understanding and appreciation for the role quilts play in our society. Thanks for tuning in to Frame. <laughs> Duck! <laughs> <laughs>
Zoom is sponsored by Allegra. Click Marketing Solutions. Dial Folio Jewelry.